Hi, I'm Yasmin Hussein, and welcome to this week's Motoring News. Lamborghini has celebrated the production of its 1,000th Aventador LP704, describing it as an important milestone in the flagship vehicle's history. The total was achieved in a little over a year, marking an increase in productivity for the Sant'Agata plant, which had taken two and a half years to reach the same total for the Murcielago. Lamborghini says the order book for the V12-engined Aventador is healthy, covering the next 18 months of production. A range of new colours and upgraded interiors have been announced for the Fiat 500. The six new paint finishes, including Countrypolitan Yellow, are being introduced along with two complementary fabric trims. The news comes as Fiat promotes the arrival of the 500 in the US with an equally colourful TV ad, depicting the city car joyously leaving its native Italy for American shores. The Italian scenes were shot in Amalfi and Sorrento, featuring key landmarks to emphasise the brand's Italian heritage. Hyundai has confirmed pricing details for the next Santa Fe, which goes on sale in the UK in October. Powered by a 200 brake horsepower, 2.2 litre diesel engine developing 311 pounds foot of torque, the SUV will be available with either two or four wheel drive, with the latter achieving 46 miles per gallon on the combined cycle. Three trim levels are available, together with a choice of either five or seven seat configurations. Prices for the Hyundai Santa Fe will start from just under £25,000 on the road. Jaguar was amongst the first to congratulate Bradley Wiggins and Team Sky on winning the Tour de France on Sunday. As official vehicle supplier to the team, Jaguar donated two pre-production editions of the all-new XF Sport Brake for use as support vehicles. Coinciding with Wiggins becoming the first Briton in history to win the prestigious event, the Tour also marked the first time the XF Sport Brake had been seen on public roads ahead of its official launch in October. In preparation for this year's Cannonball 2000, competitors will gather with their cars at the Bond in Motion exhibition at Bewley on the 29th of July to raise money for the Dreams Come True children's charity. Among the Cannonballers' cars on show will be a Maserati Gran Cabrio, Ferrari 458 Italia, Aston Martin DB9 and Ferrari California. The Cannonball 2000 rally will head off from the Park Lane Hilton on the 5th of September. Citroen's DS3 has featured in the music promo for CoverDrive's new single, Explode, the fourth release taken from the debut album, Barhan Style. The video follows the four band members on a drive through London in the DS3, en route to an underground nightclub for a Battle of the Bands showdown. Explode goes on sale officially on the 8th of September. That's it for now. We'll have more of the latest motoring news stories next week.